So what we're doing right now is we're actually investigating a, a Pythagorean theorem to see if it's true in a different way. Okay? So say if I would take a look, and I'm just going to do a brief sketch of what you've got going on. Okay? So this is A, this is B, and this is C. So if I take this square, it's A by A. What's its area? A squared. Okay. If this is a square here, what's this area? B squared. Okay, not sub 2. B squared. Gosh, that's right. And this is C. The area here should be C squared. So you've got these two cut out. So this area and this area, how should they compare with it, this area over here? They should add them up. So what you should be able to do is take your two squares, cut them up, and fit them and cover up your hypotenuse square. Okay. So let's take your two squares you have here and let's cut them up and see if they fill up your C squared area. Because that's what Pythagorean theorem is also saying not only is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the area of a square built by one leg plus the area of a square built by the other leg equals the area of a square built by the hypotenuse. So you should be able to take both those squares, put them over your hypotenuse square, even if you have to do some cutting, um, you should be able to see that it would fit. Okay. That's my phone, don't worry about it. And then um, there's the assignment for those that are gone. And once you guys are done with that, you guys can work on that as well. Ian, what are you doing? Another way to demonstrate Pythagorean theorem.